Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Championship Sunday here at UMG DC. Benson and Courage in the booth for the first game of the day. What a game it's going to be as well. We've seen it once here at DC. We're going to see it again. First time it was a bit of a surprising outcome, I think it's fair to say. Yeah. Now, Team FaZe looking for revenge over Team Justice. Yeah, and honestly, between these first two maps that we're going to be seeing out of Solar Hardpoint and Recovery Search and Destroy, you can't ask for two better, better maps for FaZe right. to start off this first Championship su Sunday match on. Prior to getting into it, though, got to give a shout out to the sponsors. BenQ, G Fuel, Pro Kits, Jerky XP, Control Freak, All them sponsors. Operation Supply Drop. The yes. raffle's going to be going on later today. If you haven't bought tickets, you should. Oh, They're always awesome. Absolutely. So, Probably so many, you always get trolled every single time. It's the same exact joke every single time. And, and like nobody in the crowd We laughs. need new content from the crowd. Yeah, man. really. Like Nobody in the crowd <laughs>, laughs at the person that does it, they just laugh at like the weird thing I say back to them because typically I belittle them and make them feel like a lesser human being. Good job. I think that's called bullying, but it doesn't even matter. All the players are in the lobby. <laughs> makes a terrible human being. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Introduce me to one of these two teams. All Who right. are we going to be seeing first? Uh, let's take a look at Team FaZe. Uh, for any of you guys that don't know, maybe you live under a rock. Who knows? This is your current UMG champions. We've got Zuma, Clayster, Attach, and Enable. Uh, you can see uh, Ian. <laughs> He's uh, been these. feeling he's been feeling a little under the weather yeah. at UMG DC, but you know he uh, he's getting things going. And on the other side of the table, let's take a look at um, one of our other teams, which is going to be, of course, uh, Team Justice. Team Justice coming out doing phenomenal things here at UMG DC. I know a lot of people were kind of tweeting at me saying, "Yo, Benson, what's going on with Justice, man? Where did these guys appear from?" Yeah, I mean here they are: Space, <laughs> Kenny, Assault, and Envoy. That's right, Envoy. You may have not had the name on your back of your jersey, but you made it work. Yeah, I got bad news for him as well, though. He also St has, this is this he is also amazing. has a makeup is name in this <laughs> lobby as well. Really He's going to be playing under the tag royalty this game. Everyone else on his team has their normal tags. And I believe Kenny just hit the whip. There's a look at your two squads. Solar Hardpoint going to kick off this championship Sunday, Ben. Who are we hopping on board with? has to be Kenny. I, yeah. I, I'm a big, big Kenny fan. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I know you, Chance, were all talking about Kenny pre the tournament even beginning. And I was like, oh, okay. All right, we'll see what he's got. But honestly, I'm, I'm a fan. I've been converted. The guy is absolutely godlike. I mean, I mean, you and I were talking with Rick on the first night, and he mentioned how, you know, Kenny's so good, Kenny's so good. And we're like, all right, come on, that's a little bias. It's a little yeah, bias. Yeah, yeah. You but are in the organization, Rick. Of course yeah. you're going to say your players are good. Yeah. That's how he it has works. dominated all weekend long, already off to a nice two and one start, Spacely inside the hard point for this Justice team. And this, this tournament means so much to Spacely because, as he mentioned, he took the risk playing with new up and coming players. Right. So far, I would assume he feels like it's been paying off. We'll see though, if they can come up clutch on Championship now, Sunday. Now, here's the crazy thing for me, right? When Brycey was interviewing Clay, you heard Clay kind of say, yeah, we identified our weaknesses and our mistakes, and we have adapted. Now, yeah. from when they played last time, Jack, what, what would you say really were the mistakes or, or the weaknesses from FaZe? One thing that definitely happened in that phase series was Clay was just shut down. If you remember, he was right. really a non-factor. And I'm wondering if it's going to come back more towards positioning, getting more into his typical role. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this phase team doesn't lose too often, Ben. So right. it was something that might have changed up their, their communication a little bit. We'll see how it switches up this series off the start. Clayster sitting at four and six right now. But these are those power positions that make Clayster so and dominant. But if Assault can continue to cut him down before he can even make a play happen in them, Justice will be in a good spot. Now, a lot of pros yesterday were talking about how, you know, Clay can sometimes be a little slow to start. You yeah. see him currently at four and eight, but he's the kind of player that once he gets going, once he gets a little bit of momentum, he will plow through everyone, but he needs to get that momentum at first and just, you know, a couple of big kills, string them together. I mean, last time I watched Clay on this map, he dropped how many kills? 56? Yeah. Like, unbelievable amount of kills that he was able to pick up. So, really, just keep your eyes on Clay. He's going to be so crucial. And as you can see, Justice already off to a fantastic start, led by none other than Kenny at 11 and 6. Justice have a 41 to 19 point lead. You don't typically see the AR player being your entry killer there, trying to push towards the next hard point. That time it didn't pay off for Kenny. Spacely coming in with the assist now. Two kills right there already. Five captures to his name. Ten points separating these two teams. And honestly, this is the start you needed from Justice. They're hanging with FaZe, but the real test will be to see if they can keep this intensity going 
for the next seven right. and a half minutes, or will they begin to falter? Because that's something we've seen time and time again, Ben. I want to take a look at Envoy. Of course, Envoy playing under the royalty tag as the game actually goes once again back in there. Uh, Don't worry, he has a normal space. sensitivity. It's not yeah, yeah, royalty. Yeah. He's not going to be spinning around in circles, making you all feel very nauseous early yeah. on in Championship Sunday. But there's a nice two piece from Envoy. Looking for the third, not going to be able to find it. Spacely is on the hard point now. 12 and 8. His current score on a three streak. Looking for his fourth kill in a row. The assist comes in, stays alive, and Justice build himself a lead. 18 points in favor of Justice, and they're going to get this last little bit of scrap time. But if you look on your mini map, Clayster and the boys on phase have an absolutely perfect setup. They're pushing out bottom middle. They're pushing out mid cuts. They're trying to force the spawns all the way at the back side of the map. But now the, the push gets a little bit closer for Justice. Assault going to be the first player challenging the hard point. Picks up one kill on Enable. Spots the second, but there is Clayster to shut it down. Envoy, the last remaining player up. He's able to take down Zuma. Big start. Can he find the second? If he can string together a couple of kills here, it's going to relieve the pressure from his teammates, but he goes up against Clayster. Clay wins that one at 12 and 15. He's going to fall over to Zuma now as he bursts through bottom middle, looking to pick up a couple of easy kills. That's one on Kenny, the second place to his right-hand side. Should be able to pick that one up as well. Finally falls. Clayster looking to trade the kill, connects with it, and phase once again, get control of the hill. Down 10 points with uh, plenty of time to be able to come back in this game, like and, there's so much time. And this is really the scary part is Justice, all four players doing very well right now, holding their own. But you have Clayster, Zuma, and Enable all with slow and sluggish starts. Yes, Attach is really the one leading the squad in regards to the slaying. Mm -hmm. He's tied for the most captures as well. Oh, FaZe are keeping Zuma. it close, Benson. The second half though is when you expect the, the Red Militia to really begin to eat up. Staying with Zuma on this hot point. At 75, 72, FaZe looking to tie up the game once again and potentially take the lead. Zuma really starting to string together a lot of kills. It's four in a row, turns around, can he find the fifth? No, he can't. Spacely in a position to shut him down. Now over to Attach, has Assault up top. Gonna win that one. Second player on the hard point, manages to avoid him. I believe that was Envoy throwing out those stuns at Attach, but he's gonna try and push straight through. There's one on Spacely. Attach now starting to heat up, and the SMGs, this is going to be key. If the SMGs can really start stringing together all these kills on the hard point, that's what makes FaZe such a scary team to play against. The lead is now in FaZe's favor. Zuma pushing oh, out the Lord, back spawns. Zuma. They continue to make sure to utilize the rotation aspect of Solar Hardpoint. You get your setup when the one area dies, you fill that hole right away before the uh, enemy team can abuse that spot. Zuma doing that for his squad there. After the first five minutes of play, Ben, it's a, actually a pretty low scoring game, 98 to right. 88. Neither team able to break that 100 second marker. Finally, phase is. We'll see if they can continue to pull the momentum in their favor on this first hard point. Thatch gonna get two kills with that one. Nice kill. Oh, and that's the third as well. Just slaps basically across the face, picks up the melee. Hard point has been controlled. Pretty much entirely at this point by Team Phase. They are really getting into a bit of a groove right now as Attach 26 kills, Zuma 22. This is what you want to see if you're a Phase fan. Clay not really doing anything extraordinary like we saw last time he, yeah. he played on this map, but he's doing his role. He's doing everything he needs to do. It's the SMGs which are really just lighting it up right now. The, the big issue is they haven't had an answer for Enable. Finally, Envoy is able to swap over to that AR to take him down. It took a lot of time though in favor of FaZe. They're up by 27 seconds. Control going back to space. He's 22 and 19 on a four streak with 10 captures. Monstrous game number one Make from that Mike. A five streak from Space Lee. Tries to find more. He's not going to be able to do so. Meanwhile, Kenny is actually on a two streak as well. Looks for the third. Snaps on. Nice play coming in from Kenny. Looking for just a little bit of uh, help from his teammates as he tries to slow down his game pace. He recognized that players were going to try and push the spawns from Team Phase. Unfortunately, just not able to really make anything happen with that. A 127 to 112 game back and forth as it was the first time these two teams met. 131 to 112. Enable trying to ensure that his team holds that top side spawn. They want to begin to give that up in really the next 10 seconds. You can see he's still sitting on top of this top pipes area. The challenge though coming from bottom middle. Four blue arrows with one final push from middle cuts. The first couple kills going in favor of FaZe. That Zuma Clayster there to assist. Kenny last alive. He picks up two but falls as well. FaZe going to get the scrap time yet again. But Ben, these next few gunfights are absolutely crucial. And look how snappy Attach is feeling. Can he find the four piece? That's three. Attach gonna go for it. Had to reload though. So unfortunate. But that was just such a big play. Everyone that was trying to rotate to that next hill, he basically just bought face so much time. Great play coming in from your world champ. That is an example of where 
Kills and stats don't mean nearly as much as they show on paper. Right. That's just three kills at the end of a game. Oh. But in that moment, he just bought his team early hill control. He got them the spawns. He was able to give his teammates enough time to spawn up and get near him. Now FaZe in control. And Ben, look at the score. It's getting out of hand quickly. A 50-second lead for FaZe. Justice needs to stop this momentum right now. Attach is four kills away from 40 with two minutes, 14 seconds left. It's going to be on a three streak. Can he make it flow even for the melee? The, the beat down this game from Attach has been nuts. It's been crazy. Props to uh, Justice though. Picking up the scrap time is going to be big for them if they're going to have any chance of coming back into this game. Oh, and already FaZe are going to get another hill of scrap time, Ben, and they're ready to contest for the next hard point control. They're still at a 40 second lead. Clayster's there, oh and my he God. just destroyed Envoy with that headshot. The help coming in from Zuma. Justice needs to catch their bearings very quickly. Oh, they're or just else this all next hill falling. is going to be held for all 60 seconds. Yeah, they're dropping like flies as they try and push through. Now, finally getting a couple kills, but Clayster is still there with his bow. He's been absolutely dominant on this hard point so far. Picks up his second kill in a row, turns around. He's going to have Spacely running at him. That's the three kill streak looking for four as Envoy pushes down uh, glass side. Finally, he does die, but guess what? Enables there to instantly trade the kill. That's two from him. So oh my god, just trades left and right. FaZe have locked it down on the second to the last half point here on Solar. Benson, the last time we were on this hill, FaZe was down by 20. I said the second half is when this team will heat up. They did just that. It's an 80 second swing. If they can contest for about three more seconds, this game number one will be over with FaZe Clan up 1-0. This is going to be so tough for Justice to do it. Now, this is really where you can see the character of a team and, and just how well they've gelled together. Kenny, on your screens with the AR, dashes to the right-hand side, does pick up one, finally falls, looking for Envoy to trade That's the kill, it. not gonna happen, and as you say, Jack, that is all she wrote. Team FaZe come out hot on Championship Sunday, and go 1-0 into the lead in the series. Justice played extremely well for the first seven minutes of that game, but then the endurance just began to wear off. FaZe started getting more kills in their favor. You saw Clayster turn it around. Zuma also began to heat up, and Enable is dropping the numbers you always I, expect right. from him. I and think, look at Attach. Yeah, I think kills. one of the big things was right at the very half, as soon as he went into the second rotation of hills, Zuma and Attach were going off, right? Both of them had had some big, big streaks. The SMG play was supreme. The big difference in the second half, it was Clay. The, the AR work and help just relieved so much pressure for the SMGs that they didn't need to go as consistently up. They still all played well, obviously, but that improved performance in the second side yeah. just propelled FaZe to victory. There's a look at the map one winners. Solar Hardpoint, Ben, to tell you the truth. 45 from attack. Going wow. into that one, yes, Justice has been electric all weekend, but I in no way felt that FaZe would lose what is arguably their best map over everything you could see all weekend. But, Solar ah. Hardpoint, it is just, it, you can always assume for Clayster to go off, you can always see attach into him. The last true. time they played this map, 34 captures. But considering that, look how close the final score was. 170 to 209. Oh, they definitely kept it. was definitely it, close. Uh, Justice, a team who can definitely hang. And that's what's going to make 100%. the search and destroy so interesting. I'm, I'm really excited to see if Justice can try and bounce back in this one. For now, though, we're going to take a quick commercial break. See you on the other side.